delete request deleting a resource from the server currently we are in section 5 and we are about to check out the fourth video of this section now the delete request is quite interesting you don't need to send any data to the server in the request body so in our node server we already have a method in place that will help you to delete a object with the help of its id now within our application we need to define a function that will of course return a call object but this time I will use unit as a parameter and unit is similar to void in case of Java. Now if the delete operation is successful then generally in the restful web services we do not return the deleted object. We just notify the client with the help of request code, status code in the range of 200s. And here I have to use the delete annotation and then the endpoint URL with a path parameter of id and then declare the annotation of path with the key of id and the variable. Perfect. And let us use this function within our destination detail activity where we have this delete button. Let us replace the code by retrofit code. Get the service, get the request call and as a parameter pass this id that we are receiving within this function. Thereafter, make a network call in the background thread using nq function. Check for the success and also for the error. So the code pattern is totally similar to what we saw earlier. You can now run your application. Go to the list activity. Now let us select our new city and delete it. Yes, successfully deleted. Well, we cannot see our deleted object here, but we can verify our request and response in our logcat. So this is my delete request without any body. And in the response, we are receiving no content, just a success status code 204 with no content. So the delete functionality is quite simple. Now we can also send data by manually altering our request headers. So how to manually change the headers? Let's check it out in the next video.